welcome to another episode of Travel Tip Tuesday. This is Kerwin with CruisingAltitude.com. And today, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Ontario wine country. Right now, we're at Henry of Pelham's Vineyard. And they're in the Niagara area. And let's just go talk to, uh, let's go, just go listen to Matthew, Matthew Speck. His family has been running this business, I guess, since about 1800s. And let's just go hear what he has to say. Uh, sitting on your table like this, especially when it's cool in this environment, the bubbles will keep going for hours and hours and hours. It doesn't go flat quickly. Um, I mean, this wine, a half full bottle in your fridge, two days later, you open it, there'll still be bubbles there. It doesn't go, they don't go flat. And that's because over time, part of that sparkling process, the wine sitting in the bottle for years and years, the bubbles just become very, very integrated into the, into the wine itself. So it's a, it's a process that can only happen with time. So Matthew, the famous question, red or white? I drink more and more white than red, personally. That's all part of my wife. My wife only drinks white, so that sort of skews our household. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay, please help yourself. This little place has grown up with with myself and Matt. Um, Ten years ago. Far, far longer than I care to admit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good tension between winemaking and marketing. Yes, obviously. He said, honey, one of these days we're going to have a winery and meadery. And uh, 20, 20, 20, more or less 25 years later, they, they bought this land. Wow. And, uh, and the rest is pretty much history. They kept working with the bees and they planted all these vines and they combined the, the mead making or the honey uh, production uh, with the wine and they started to make the meads as well. Different coopers, because every cooper kind of adds something unique to the wine. Um, kind of perhaps lighter coopers for pinots Perfect. and chardonnays and uh, heavier uh, toasty oak uh, for Merlot and Cabernet Franc or maybe like a Bordeaux varietal uh, like even Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, we also have bigger barrels, so there are, most of the barrels are 225 meters, but we also have functions here, 500 meter barrels, uh, less oak surface for, surface for wine volume. So this is Kerwin once more. So how'd you like it? A fantastic tour of the Ontario wine area. Behind me is what I think is probably one of the best places I've ever seen. It's a Victorian home at the Peninsula Ridge, which is also in the Ontario wine country. So this is Kerwin with Cousinatu.com at Peninsula Ridge. Closing out our wine tour. Have a great trip.